Hey everybody, F Bomb Fitzgerald here. Thank you for joining me today for the 200 subscriber special. I still honestly can't believe we've reached this milestone so quickly. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I doubly appreciate every single one of you who subscribed. In addition to doing a little giveaway, I thought I'd also do a question and answer. And since there's 200 subscribers now, I'm gonna answer 200 questions. So let's jump right in. So the very first question is, how did I get into Team Fortress 2? Well, back in 2009, my roommate had Portal, and I thought it was the greatest game I'd ever played. The combination of the puzzles and the humor, I just thought it was amazing. So when I got my own place a year later and I had a nice laptop for the first time in my life, I decided to buy the orange box. It was 30 bucks, which was expensive for me, but I knew it included Portal, which I loved, and I was excited for the Half-Life 2 games. I actually played those three games multiple times before even opening Team Fortress 2, but once I did, I was hooked. Question 2 is, did I ever have a main? Um, people who watch the channel now know I try and play every single class, uh, maybe other than Sniper because I'm terrible at it, uh, but I do pride myself on being somewhat of a generalist. That said, when I started the game, I absolutely mained heavy. I think it was just a question of learning curve where I found the increased health stack was a lot more forgiving than some of the other classes. There wasn't any crazy motion mechanics that I had to pick up like rocket jumping and it just kind of allowed me to get a feel for the game by playing hours and hours of heavy on two fort. The third question is, wait, that's not, that's not really a question, that's more of a complaint, isn't it? Hey, at least this isn't the 1000 sub special. What is my favorite weapon in TF2? Honestly, I have to say it's the loose cannon. I think it's the perfect balance of skill, fun, sound design. Uh, I've never been mad when somebody's killed me with a good double donk. And on the flip side of it, I feel like nobody's ever complained when I've double donked them to death. Yeah, I'd say on the flip side of that, my least favorite weapon is probably the short circuit, uh, especially on payload maps. I just feel like it's never fun to play against. Uh, I don't really think it has a very high skill ceiling. I think there's just a lot of issues with it that the developers didn't think about. What if a bunch of us unsubscribed bringing your subtotal below 200 and then you... Wait a minute. Wait, what? No, no, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Don't even joke about that. For my favorite TF tuber, I'd have to say Uncle Dane. He just does so many things at such a high level, whether it's gameplay, educational content, animation, and humor. Honestly, it's hard to do any one of those things at a high level, much less all of them as well as he does. So really, hats off to him. I think he's one of a kind. What would I be doing if I didn't have a YouTube channel? Well, I guess the easy way to answer that question is to tell you what I was doing right before I started the channel, which is playing a lot of Team Fortress 2. Uh, basically, that was one of my motivations to start the channel was I was spending so much time in game, but I kind of felt like I had nothing tangible to show for it. So, for example, if I had a really good life with a really good kill streak, I would just remember it um, or if I saw something really funny in game at most I would get a screenshot but I didn't really feel like I could hold on to those memories so I thought it would be a fun challenge to make the YouTube channel as a way to push myself to get better but also to kind of have something more tangible to show for all the time I was spending in game. I got this question in a couple different forms, which is basically what game am I excited to play next or what game do I not have that I want to pick up? And it's kind of a tough one for me to answer, partially because I have such a backlog of games that I'm already excited to play and I already own, but I just haven't had the time or motivation to play yet. Uh, examples of those are Doom 2016, Alien Isolation, Val Faris. So even if I see a really good game on a really good sale, I feel guilty picking it up until I've made my way through my backlog. Can I sign items for you? If you're a subscriber, sure, just send it to me and I'll send it back to you the same day with the gifted by F1 Fitzgerald tag on it. 
Just remember that trading items will reset the counts on your stranges, so you may want to use a strange count transfer tool first, and then swap them back on there after I sign it. What are the items I'm giving away as part of this subscriber special? Well, I'm giving away two of them. One of them is a very nice medigun. No, no, unfortunately not this one. I don't even own this one. Um, it's just a medigun with allied healing part on it, signed by me. And the other item is going to be a conscientious objector, crafted by me, signed by me, with my channel art on it. Bruv her for the make with the... Okay, first off, that's not even a question. Second off, I'm not sure if that's even English. Okay, well that one's just way, way better. Um, yeah, absolutely. So you just have to be subscribed, and in the comments section, describe the last time somebody made you laugh in-game, or the last time something made you smile in a game of TF2. What's a weird TF2 thing that you do that most other people don't? So it's not weird or surprising that I watch other TF2 content creators on YouTube, but what is a little weird is I recently found a TF tuber called Old School TF2, who is Brazilian and makes content in both English and in Portuguese. The English content I obviously watch and enjoy, but I find myself occasionally watching his Portuguese content, even though I myself do not understand or speak Portuguese. I think it's kind of a weird ASMR thing that I like the sound of the Portuguese, and I also find it really funny to hear long phrases where I don't understand 90% of it, except for the one TF2 word that he says. Says. Stuff like "eu vou tirar em você como lock and load" it just makes me laugh. Congregation, you done it. Um, okay, so that's also technically not a question, uh, but I do share the sentiment. Uh, the one thing I would change is the "I done it" to "we done it." Because frankly, there's no way I get to 200 subs in 105 days without you guys being awesome. And by you, I mean the folks in the F-Bomb squad that I play with regularly, the folks in the Steam group and the Discord, and everybody who's watched my videos on YouTube and been so supportive and encouraging. You're the reason I haven't given up, and you're also the reason I'm having such a good time. I really appreciate all of you, and man, I just can't wait to see where we end up at the end of this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.